All right, so let's take a look at the KC5 TGT-10 APRS iGate project. Uh, this is a project I've been working on for about the last month and a half, and it's turned out really well. I wanted to share with my YouTube followers uh, what I had done and some of the components that I had used to make it work. So what we have here on the very far right of your uh, screen, you'll see the tower. That's a, a Rhone tower. It goes up about 45 feet. That's about a 10 foot pipe in the top of it. And the antenna we're concerned with is the one at the very tip top. That's a Diamond V2000. There is Heliax coming from the V2000 down the tower leg and into that gray box that's in the center of your screen. That's where the lightning arresters are. And then I have LMR 400 coming uh, from the gray box over to the actual radio. Now the radio is housed under the structure with the solar panels, and I'll show you the electronics and components that make up the APRS iGate in a moment. But I wanted you to see it from this perspective first so you could see uh, how the panels are laid out. This is an old Harbor Freight uh, 100 watt system and uh, something I just kind of had in storage. So I went ahead and put it in use for, for this project. The whole APRS iGate runs off of solar. I uh, do have a car battery that the solar panels uh, maintain, and that's how the uh, iGate gets its power. All right, so we'll uh, switch around to the other side of this structure so you can get a feel of the layout on that side, and then we'll also look at some of the electronics that uh, make this iGate function. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the structure, and let's take a look at some of the components that make this APRS iGate function. Uh, what you'll see here is, like I said, we're running everything off of a 12-volt car battery and solar. We have the battery at the very bottom. I have the solar charge controller in the upper left. I chose to put the charge controller in a clear plastic housing so I could easily walk up and just take a glance at the battery status, the charge status uh, from the solar system. It is a, a weather-resistant box that it's in. And then the main components for the eye gate are housed inside this plastic box, which is like a Pelican box. And we'll get that open and let you take a look at what's inside there. Okay, so inside our plastic Pelican box, we have a Motorola VHF radio with a Ardent Systems audio adapter, which is connected, it's right there, connected to the 16 pin port on the back side of the Motorola VHF radio. And then right here, we have a WX 3-in-1 Plus 2.0. And for internet connectivity, we have a Bonet's Wi-Fi bridge. The main source of Wi-Fi is a residence next door to the tower site. To keep a watch on what the internal temperature inside the box gets up to. I have in the green plug right here at the bottom of the WX 3-in-1. If you follow that wire up behind the face of the radio, there is a temperature probe in the upper left portion of the box. So if you go to APRS.FI and click on KC5 TGT-10, currently the temperature that is shown is the temperature inside this box. I will say it does get quite warm on very hot days, but the amount of air that's being moved through the box so far, everything is functioning, and I've had no issues with uh, heat shutting anything down. So let's talk about the uh, airflow and how we're managing the heat buildup inside the box. So you'll notice we have a 12 volt computer fan here, and I have a plastic shroud that is connected to a vent on the upper right side of the box. And then at the lower left, we have an intake. So the air is drawn in from the lower left. It comes through the box across the heat sink for the radio and across the TNC, and then pushed out to the outside. So far, this has been working very good. Here at the bottom, we have our power distribution block with Anderson power poles. And then we have a ground lug with everything grounded inside. 
So guys, I appreciate y'all checking out this uh, video on the KC5 TGT-10 uh, APRS eye gate. This eye gate has been working wonderfully since I got it on the air. I'm really pleased with this project a lot. It's been it's been very fun. I've really enjoyed building this and getting it on the air and making it work. So y'all take care out there and be safe. Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully we'll have some more content for you again in the future. 7-3.